Hello and uh, welcome to the latest edition of Conversations with Cabrera. Today I am delighted uh, to have as my guest one of my newer colleagues, Mr. Bert Reeves, our Vice President of uh, Institute Relations, who came back to his alma mater after a long and successful career uh, as a practicing attorney and an elected official. Uh, welcome, Bert. A del a delighted to, to have you with us today. And uh, maybe for people who are not familiar with the structure of, uh, of an academic institution like Georgia Tech, what exactly does a vice president for institute relations do? Thank you, President Cabrera. Um, as vice president of institute relations, I get the um, opportunity to lead the team, the institute relations team at Georgia Tech, which is kind of another way of saying external affairs. Our team is really focused outside of campus. We have really three areas that we hone in on. One is government relations, which is one of the most important things we do. We work with our local government, our state government, and our federal government um, in all things Georgia Tech and how it relates um, to government. We also work with community relations, so all of our surrounding neighborhoods and the schools um, and all different entities and organizations in the community that are impacted by Georgia Tech. And the third thing that we do is we head up all of the economic development that goes on. And so our, our team is, is deep involved in that and very involved in bringing some of the most outstanding companies and businesses in the world to Atlanta. What made you actually leave elected office to come and join back uh, your, your alma mater? Well, pretty much from the time I graduated from Georgia Tech, I realized uh, quickly that, that my commitment was going to be to public service in one way or the other. And the call came from Georgia Tech, and it was really kind of a full circle thing. I dove in, and um, in some ways it was scary. In some ways it was the easiest thing ever. Um, but here we are, and I'm having a great time and loving every aspect of the job. How do we explain to not just decision makers, but to the regular citizen in Georgia, why does it matter that to, to have an institution like Georgia Tech attracting, you know, billion two uh, dollars in, in research grants and all the work that happens uh, across the institute? You know, we're a public institution. Um, we are funded by Georgia taxpayers' dollars. And uh, it is extremely important that Georgians know that the return on investment that they get with Georgia Tech is something that is of significant value. Our economic impact on Georgia is third to the airport and the Savannah port. Every state, all 50 states want a Georgia Tech. All 50 states wish that they could start something right now that would become a Georgia Tech. But the only reason that this works at Georgia Tech is because we've been doing it for 150 years. You can't really start it now. And having this in Georgia is such an important part of our state. And it's something that I, do, I really do think people appreciate. You and I are sitting in the middle of the alumni house, and it's a very uh, special space with lots of artifacts representing the, 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 the long and, and fascinating history of our alma mater. Many people know, some people don't know, that when you were a student, you were buzz. I mean, you were part of, of, of getting that that energy and, and that culture of, uh, of Georgia Tech uh, going and, and going strong. What was it like to be Buzz? It was when you were hot. <laughs> it was really, really, it's really a... hot. You, you sweat a lot. No, it was um, probably the most unique experience of my life, um, even more so than politics. Uh, I grew up a passionate Georgia Tech fan. Uh, my grandfather graduated in 1938. I have uncles that graduated in the 50s and 60s. You know, if you had asked anybody that grew up with me, you know, well, are you surprised that Bert became Buzz? They would all say, no, that's kind of what I expected is that he would become Buzz because I was a crazy fan. But um, being able to be the, you know, the essence of school spirit and to, to um, that iconic mascot that we have um, was just truly a remarkable experience. Well, uh, Bert, I, I want to uh, thank you. I'm delighted that we were able to convince you to return to your alma mater. I've no, nobody better to tell the Georgia Tech story than someone who actually has been part of that story like you have. So I look forward to, um, to many more, uh, much more time working with you in, in telling that powerful story about uh, Georgia Tech. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm.